guys, my name is Megan from the blog WilsonHomestead.com and today I want to show you how to do just the classic hug hold position for your baby in a boba wrap. Now I've done a newborn hold in the boba wrap, so I will link that video down below. I have a whole baby wearing playlist with all kinds of videos for all kinds of different baby carriers, but I'm trying to be really thorough about the specific brands, so I want to show a bunch of different kinds of carries in each brand. So if someone has a certain brand of wrap, like if you have a Moby and you search for my boba video, you might not see all my videos. So I'm trying to do a really thorough playlist of tutorials. So if you have any requests, if you have any certain brands or types of carriers that you really want me to review and show you how to use, please let me know down in the comments below. But today I'm just gonna do my good old bubble wrap. This is one of my original wraps. It's probably the second wrap I got, and it is still my favorite one. I've used five different brands of wraps, and I have like over 10 baby carriers. And even with all of those other carriers, the Boba wrap is still my absolute favorite. It is my workhorse baby carrier. I always go to this thing if I am gonna need to have them in it for a long time. If I'm doing something that's more physically demanding than just walking around. So I highly, highly recommend this bow wrap. I will link down below where you can get this on their website and also Amazon, Amazon where I got mine. So this video is not sponsored. I paid for this with my own money and I would buy it again over and over again because <laughs> it's awesome. So let's get right into this tutorial. find the tag that's in the exact center of the wrap. Wraps are just really, really long pieces of fabric, and thankfully the middle is usually marked with a tag, because otherwise it'd be really hard to find. <laughs> so this is what the boba tag looks like. And I'm going to put the tag over my stomach, and that's how I'm gonna start wrapping it. Now, a lot of people just lay it like this, lay it flat, but personally, I like to bunch it up like this, just even, in even bunches, and then do it like this. <laughs> I find it just works better if I do it the other way where it's like flat, it kind of pulls my shirt up as I tie the rest of it. So this is just how I like to do it, but you guys can do it however you want. So now I have it over my stomach and I'm going to go to the back and I'm going to take where it's coming around the right side and I'm going to take it up over my left shoulder, just like this. And I'm just going to make sure that it's nice and even right now because it's, this is the easiest time to make sure that it's even and all lying flat. So I'm gonna come back to the front and I'm just going to take this over right right here. So a lot of people go under this. I like to go over it personally. It really, really doesn't matter. It's just a personal preference. <laughs> this is just how I find myself doing it most often. So I'm gonna take it over this and then I'm gonna bring it to the back again. And then I'm gonna stretch this over, up over my right shoulder. Again, I'm just going to make sure this is nice and even over my back and shoulder. And then I'm gonna take this and put it through so then both sides match. So now I'm gonna take these two and I'm gonna cross them like this, just like this. And I like to bunch that with the fabric and can. It just makes it so much easier for me to do all this. I'm gonna take it around to my back and then I'm gonna cross it back here and bring it around to the front. And now depending on how big you are or small you are, you might have to tie it in the back where I had it before, or you might have to wrap it around another time and tie it in the back. So it just depends on how long you want tails, but I like this length a lot. So now this is on and ready for Dimmy to go in. Now with the bow wrap, it is really, really nice and stretchy. So I like to just tie it snug to my body. With other wraps, like the Moby wrap, I have to make sure that it's there's a lot of room in here. But with the bow wrap, I can just tie it snug to myself and there's still plenty of room. So that's one thing that makes this just so easy that you can be super flexible with how you tie it. With the Moby wrap specifically, they're so stiff and not stretch at all. So you have to be like, make sure you get it right or you have to adjust it while they're in there, which is not super easy. So that is another win for the Boba wrap. So I'm just gonna grab Jimmy. I'm gonna put him in the one of these that goes underneath. So. You can see this one goes on top and this one goes underneath. So I'm gonna put him over this shoulder. You wanna put him in the lower one first. So I'm gonna, he really likes to look over there. He doesn't wanna look behind me, come on bud. So I'm gonna put him over there and I'm gonna kinda of guide his leg through there and stretch it over his butt and his shoulder. And then I'm gonna kinda of hold onto his leg like this and guide it in the second one. 
and then also stretch this one up over his shoulder and his butt. Just like that. And then you're going to feel for the panel that we put over our stomach in the very first step. And then I'm going to put that up over both of his feet, just like this. And then I'll stretch it up over his back. And now he's in. And that was ridiculously easy. And this feels super comfortable. He feels nice and snug. And this is just really snug to me. And it doesn't have like a lot of extra straps and stuff. So it's really easy for me to put a jacket on over this. It almost just wears like a shirt. Usually I'll just leave it on like all day and I'll take him in and out of it as it needs to take naps. But now that we have him in it, we want, we're gonna wanna do a few safety checks. So you want to make sure that their legs are in an M position. So you wanna go from, he really likes to push his legs out. And then I, if they do that, that's perfectly fine. You wanna just readjust them, pull their knees back up. But you want it from their, their heels up to their knees and then down to their butt. So it's kind of in an M position. And so you can see from the side that his knee is higher than his butt. And that's really what we're going for. It's just gonna make it so much more comfortable on their hips and their back. It's really what, what you want to aim for with baby wearing in any sort of carrier. The other thing we want to check is that, is that they're close enough to kiss. So that's just going to make sure that they're in a proper height so that they don't like accidentally suffocate. If his head was way down here, it would be really hard for me to keep his face off of the fabric. So you want them really up nice and high. You also want to make sure that you can see their nose and their mouth at all times so that you can keep an eye on if they're breathing, if they're okay. So I can see his nose and mouth even if he falls asleep and I tuck him in here like this, I can still see his nose and mouth. So once they fall asleep, just like I just showed you, you can tuck their head in either side. Normally he'll take his first nap, I'll tuck him in the side, his second nap, I'll tuck him in the side and have him face the other way. It's just better for their neck if they alternate what side. You don't want to always face their head to one direction because that's going to create always face their head to one direction because that's going to create chiropractic problems for them. I highly, highly recommend baby wearing, and really just don't get discouraged if they don't love it right away because even now it takes them a little while to kind of adjust to it, and you will fall asleep right away. It's not like something that's just going to conk them out instantly. They need to adjust to it a little bit, so just keep trying. I recommend it so highly. I would just keep trying until you get it to work. <laughs> I just love it so much, but we have a very busy lifestyle. I preserve and can a lot of our family's food for the year. We have a garden, we have a little homestead. I make videos, I make two videos a week. I write a blog and do all of our housework and I'm a stay-at-home mom, so I have to baby wear or I wouldn't live. <laughs> just He is just now that he's six months old, starting to sleep by himself a little more, which is Kind of bittersweet because I really enjoy baby wearing but he also sleeps better when he's by himself. So I normally wear my babies in a wrap until they're six months old and then they slowly start to transition to sleeping by themselves. And then to take them out I'm just going to take this panel over their back I'm going to scoot it under their butt just like this. And then while I use his hand as a support under his butt I'm, going to, I'm just going to take this side off and this side off. And then I can grab under his arms and pull them right out. Just like that. <laughs> now he's free. That's how you do the hug hold in a bubble wrap. And don't forget to check out my playlist down below with all my other baby rank videos. But I hope this was helpful. I hope maybe it helped you guys figure out all the wraps, ties and stuff. I know wraps can be kind of complicated, but I just hope that this maybe cleared it up a little bit and made it a little easier. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.